Right, now that Mourinho will be Roma's new manager, the big question is, who does Mourinho actually want as Roma players? And now, I'm gonna say this, as a Roma supporter, I'm not really used to see top elite players playing in my team. And I have read this list that Mourinho wants, and some of these players would be absolutely welcome in a team like Roma and I would be absolutely buzzing to see them wearing a Roma shirt. So yeah, stay tuned until the end of this video to know who these players are. But before we get into this video, don't forget to smash that subscribe button. Let's get this second Mourinho video as viral as the first one. You guys are legends, subscribe because every new subscriber which subscribes with an email so that I get the notification, I will give a shout out to every single new subscriber. And also let's get 20 likes by the end of this video. It's still those Mourinho side effects. We're all still buzzing. So 20 likes by the end of this video would be absolutely amazing. But yeah, I mean, we all know as a Roma fan, I can tell this to you guys, Mourinho brought light in a very, very dark tunnel. I mean, Roma were coming from a 6-2 loss at Old Trafford in the Europa League. And then the Mourinho news. And before the Mourinho news, Roma fans, Roma players, Roma staff, Roma's president, they're all wobbly. I mean, they didn't know the future of this team after that 6-2 collapse against Manchester United. They didn't, know the, they didn't know the future of many of these players. Fonseca didn't know his future. But then, on Tuesday, the Mourinho news, everyone shocked us. Roma supporters are now back alive after those tremendous matches against Manchester United and many other top clubs and small clubs in this area as well. They even designed a Mourinho graffiti in Testaccio, which is a big old Roma supporters zone in the city of Rome. So they even designed a graffiti of Mourinho. That's how Roma supporters feel about this moment. We are not used to seeing these top managers coaching our teams. And this is why Mourinho is such an important step to bring this team back to high levels, back to Champions League semi-finals. And Mourinho is the guy to do that. But we said that in the first video. And in this video, let's focus on the players Mourinho wants to buy um, in every role. I mean, in every worthy role. Now, first of all, I need to give my total respect for Mourinho because as a Tottenham manager, he got paid 17 million pounds. And as a Roma manager now, he gets paid 7 million, which is less than half of what he earned at Tottenham. And now, respect to Mourinho. I mean, he decided to give up to 10 million pounds and just earn 7 pounds because so Roma could invest those money in top, top players, which Mourinho wants because Mourinho's mentality is win, win, win over win. So let's start as a, as a goalkeeper. I mean, the goalkeeper is a big, big, big role which I think Roma need to invest on because Paolo Lopez and Morata have proven themselves absolutely horrible, especially when a few years ago Roma had both Chesney and Allison as second and first goalkeeper in one year. That's what Roma went through. So before the Mourinho news, Roma was really interested in Gallini, Atalanta's goalkeeper, which is a very top class young goalkeeper. I really like him. But the problem with Gallini, which I think, is that he gets injured too often. And there were names such as Musso, Udinese's uh, goalkeeper as well, but Inter Milan want him, and Silvestri's Hellas Verona's goalkeeper. But I think he is too young to take this step up from Verona to Roma. That's a big step. You're going in a top club. So I think he's a bit unexperienced. But now with Mourinho, there have been rumors of David De Gea as a Roma goalkeeper. I mean, obviously he would come on loan for Manchester United, but that would be absolutely incredible. Now, I really hope De Gea will be Roma's new goalkeeper. But the problem is, is that after what happened with Chris Smalling last summer, I mean, it took a lot of time for Roma's staff to convince Manchester United. I don't think Manchester United will get convinced that easily once again. So it will be hard. But just seeing De Gea as a Roma target makes me, makes me shiver. Because I've never had a goalkeeper. Yes, we had Alisson and Chesney. But De Gea, 
He saved everything in yesterday's match against Roma, so he will be very, very welcomed in Roma's team. And now moving on to defense, I know that Mancini, Mourinho loves him and he wants to keep him. Ibanez, there's a question mark on Ibanez because obviously Mourinho would like better players than Ibanez, but if Roma doesn't invest money on better players than Ibanez, then Mourinho will have to be happy with Ibanez himself. And then we have Chris Smalling, which obviously is a top player, but he gets injured too often. I mean, he's coming towards the end of his career. And once I read that Mourinho, as a Manchester United manager, had a few disagreements with Smalling and Mkhitaryan. So I'm curious to see their future as Mourinho, as a Roma manager. I'm going to see... It, it will be curious to see if Mourinho will actually accept them in the team, both Mkhitaryan and Smalling, or he will get back into his past and remember those disagreements and don't let them play, probably selling them. Um, so yeah, that's a big question mark. But moving on to the defenders, I mean, Mourinho really, really, really wants Eric Dyer from Tottenham. He wants a lot of Premier League players, which is good for Roma, but at the same time, Players who come from the Premier League to this area, it's a big jump. There are two different leagues, but Eric Dyer is a top player. Right, moving on to the centre mids. Uh, obviously, Roma would definitely keep Vera too because he is a bowler. Diavara, who knows? Diavara is one of those players which many managers like, but many managers don't like. And I think he's one of those players who Roma should either give on loan to get it, let him play, let him get more experience and then come back to Rome. Or he is a perfect second centre mid in case a really top centre mid gets injured. Diavara is a perfect substitute. But obviously Diavara wants to play. And as centre mids, Mourinho really, really, really wants Renato Sanchez, very young Portuguese young star from Leo. He is very interested in Isco from Real Madrid. Absolute bowler. What a touch Isco has. So he'd be very welcomed as well. He wants Sabitzer from Leipzig, Hoibjerg from Tottenham. And yeah, pretty much these are the center mids he wants. I think all of them, apart from Renato Sanchez, are actually very, very, very hard to achieve. I mean, Isco, I, as a player, I'd say he's hard. But Isco never plays recently for Real Madrid. And obviously, he wants to play. He was close to Everton a few months ago. But now the Mourinho wants him as Roma player. So I'd love Isco as a Roma player. Sabitzer I think will be very hard because Leipzig won 60 million. Hoiberg is a very top player which I think will play very, very well with Veretu. But Tottenham just bought him and I just read it, but Tottenham will sell him no less than 70 million, which is a lot for a club like Roma. And these are the centre mids which Mourinho wants. But obviously, let's not forget which, that Roma yesterday in the match against Manchester United played a very young uh, Ebrema Darbo, an amazing past he has. He was actually a refugee who came on the tremendous adventure, landed in Italy and yesterday got his debut in a Europa League against Bruno Fernandes and his teammates. And that would be absolutely special. He's a very young player and he didn't play badly yesterday. So it wouldn't surprise me getting Ebrema Darbo as more and more into Roma's first team. And Mourinho was probably looking at that match and he was probably was interested in Ebrema Darbo. So those are pretty much the centre mids. And I forgot to say that in terms of defense, Mourinho is also interested in Ake from Manchester City, Nelson Semedo from Wolverhampton, and Ricardo Pereira from Leicester. Very top players once again. Players which are more likely to achieve for Roma rather than, for example, Eric Dyer, which I think is a top player for Tottenham. But moving on to the attackers, I think, I think Mourinho really wants to keep Jekyll. But the question mark with Jekyll is, lately he's not been the best. He's coming towards the end of his career and obviously he can't play the full season. Roma have Borca Mayura, which I think is a perfect second striker in case Jekyll gets injured. But Mourinho wants a third attacker as well. And the names which were given to Mourinho, that the players he actually wants in attack for Roma are Icardi from PSG who played I mean, to Milan. And Mourinho is also very, very interested in Justin Clivert, um, Roma player on loan on Leipzig. I mean, 
when um, Clivert was playing for Ajax, I remember Mourinho telling him that once um, he would, they were playing together. So Mourinho really likes Clivert and Onder from Leicester. Um, he wants to give chances to both these players who went on loan to different teams are going to come back to Roma at the end of this season. And Mourinho wants to relaunch them. I mean, they want to, he wants to renovate these players. He wants to reuse them. He wants to recycle them instead of spending more money. And one, and another player who could come back from a loan, which Mourinho could be interested in, is Alessandro Florenzi from PSG, the third Roma captain. A few years ago after Totti retired, the Rossi retired, he was the captain. And now that he is at the P at PSG, Pellegrini is the captain. But Florenzi, I think, obviously, as Roma supporters, we love him. And he he will be always be welcome back if he wants to come back. And, yeah, I mean, these are the players which Mourinho wants. Smalling and Mkhitaryan, question mark. They had these agreements as Mourinho as manager. So we'll see. It will be curious to see, as I repeat, what Mourinho actually chooses to do with them. And I also forgot to say that as an ex-Manchester United manager, Mourinho is also interested in Juan Mata and Iman Hamadic. However, I would not buy them because they are dead players. They are coming towards the end of their careers. And I am afraid that buying these players would result in Roma being tricked in a way. Because we remember a couple of years ago when Roma bought Ashley Cole from Chelsea. Great player, great Premier League legend. But Roma bought, Chelsea, but Roma bought Ashley Cole when he was basically done. He was a dead player and he was terrible at Roma. So I'm afraid that buying Matic and Juan Mata could result in having the same problem. But yeah, lads, these were the top, top, top elite players which Mourinho wants as a Roma manager. Let me know in the comments below what you think about them. Who do you think Mourinho should buy? Who do you think Roma should sell? And obviously, if Roma are interested in so many top players, Mourinho, let my dream come true, N'Golo Kante to Roma. I am telling you, if N'Golo Kante will ever come to Roma, I think I would literally explode. I will get a bomb injected in my throat and it will literally collapse me. I would really not live anymore because N'Golo Kante is a legendary player in the pitch, outside of the pitch, and he's just my favorite player. So seeing him in a Roma t-shirt will actually make me emotional. But that's a dream, and these are realities. But Mourinho, if you mind, you know, if, if Roma have a few euros to spend, they don't know who to spend them on. N'Golo Kante, buy him. You will make Simon very, very happy. But yeah, lads, these, this was a very short video telling you guys all the top players Mourinho wants as a new Roma manager. And yeah, as always, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Subscribe, because every new subscriber which subscribes with an email so that I get the notification will get a shout out from me in my next video. And yeah, lads, I'll catch you with more live streams this weekend and more videos next week. Simon out.